Okay, so right now I'm preparing a giant water jug, huge water jug to fill with water. Looks like, that looks like good. That looks good. Nice and we're gonna fill up with water. This is gonna be really heavy. This will take most of the weight on my backpack. I actually emptied it out with all my gym gear. So this is gonna take most of the weight which it's something I use. Okay, right about to the neck. I'll do. Let me see how it fits in my bag. We want to. We we're, we have this uh, air pump. One thing is that we cannot have it leak. So. Uh, how that's gonna work. I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm also gonna take an extra water bottle. Or just write it like this. Yeah, but you just gotta make sure to make take it easy, I think. Uh, and take your time. Because now you got water on your back. That uh doesn't really clock very good, so. Okay, so the last couple of days, it's been pretty bad out. This morning is nice. Nice enough to, to do this. So, that's what we're uh, gonna do.
uh, this morning. Uh, I wanted to do this for a while. Looking for up a window. Today is my window, so it's my opportunity. There's actually bison right there. dangerous it is and what could happen to me but uh yeah it's hoping for the best um so as long as we take it nice and slow and easy take our time it'll be okay but uh yeah this this one will be the longest i've ever gone it's about eight miles on the dirt on the bike path, and uh, and eight miles back. So. I have gone seven miles on a dirt path, but then the way back was all downhill. So this is going to be a continuous eight there, eight back, battling. This is why. It's, it's it's this is gonna be hard tough, but uh, all my experience and all my training should kick in. You know, as long as I you know take my time. I think if I don't, I'm thinking if I take my time, you know, take breaks, drink water, have snacks, um, be prepared, it should be okay. So, being prepared. As well as good training, the good formula for uh, success on a thing that's not very normal for humans to do, you know? Experience. This isn't really normal. So, I hope for the best.
this big ravine. Don't want to go down there. Avoid that. Uh, mountain biking is walking, hiking too. You dismount a lot. So, probably walk this right here. This, into some action. So cows, right, right there. It's actually a horse and a cowboy, as well as a dog. Right there, herding the cows. One cowboy, looks like. That's all you need. So you do it right there. Horse. So what you see on bike trails, these trails going along steep, steep hills. You get this, and oftentimes it's kind of dangerous because you could fall off, obviously. So and be careful. Today we're taking our first break in the shade. A little bit of a break. See where we're at. Maybe turn on my radio too. That's where we're at, right here. You can see that. So, you take a break. Little break. Yeah. Tires look good. Gonna get some sugar in me.
radio. Look at that. See that on? Or what? How to test the battery you're putting on your tongue. Doesn't seem to be a lot left. Do I have a spare? No, I don't. Nothing. There's nothing. So this ride will be out with the radio. So radio is nice to listen to music without your iPhone because I don't want to waste my iPhone because that's where the GPS is. So I just have to carry on without it. It's uh, beginning to be fall, as you can see by these trees. All the leaves right there, all those leaves are starting to fall off. These trees go into hibernation mode during the winter. They're shedding their leaves, and uh, yeah, and it's getting a little bit colder out here. So you saw those other bikers and sweats and long sleeves. But it's still sunny out. Just why I'm out with no wind. There's no wind back here. So to make it easier when there's no wind. So it's going to look a little bit like fall out here. You know what I'm trying to say. Evergreens are still green. I believe they shed their pines as well. And we'll go into hibernation mode. Look at that. Now that is a big hole. It's like a cave-in. Cave in happened. A lot of water will go down there, that's for sure. I think the water just washed it out. Looks to be because this water comes down here and it collapsed for whatever reason. Very interesting. Erosion. So far this has been pretty crazy. This this bike trail has a lot a lot a lot of like these steep very cool, very fun, but you just, again, you gotta be careful in what you're doing. And there's this bridge, nice little wooden bridge here. Walk across, well built. And these are washouts that bridge go, bridges go over. 
So yeah. We're gonna take another break. Uh, and sit here and fuel up because we're maybe two thirds of the way through. Doing pretty good on this stuff. This stuff helps a lot. The sugar helps a lot. Very good. Not too filling, but yet there's sugar. It's sodium. So it's very nice out here. Right there, or a fox. Right there, pointing at him. There he goes. First coyote. A lot of little squirrels. So keeps it interesting. Got the animals out here. Wouldn't be many interesting things, so keeps it interesting, that's for sure. And I guess we made it. It's two o'clock, so that's where we are. So we have left. That one is 10.8 kilometers. I don't think I'll go that far this time. But uh, yeah, I'd say it's time to head back before the day gets, before the day gets too long and head home. So yeah, now there wasn't a lot of, wasn't very hard. So it's actually a lot easier than I thought. There we go. Mix it up. Get a little bit of different flavor. This hydration mix.
Need some mud. Play the roll. Halfway there. This hill is killer. So big. It takes, takes time. It just takes time, that's all. Take it nice and slow. Take your time. And you'll be fine. Don't get in a rush. That's when things that's when things go off the rails when you rush. Take your time and the pace you're comfortable with. That's when you'll be safe. You'll find success. You just gotta know your comfort level. So And we're back. Look at that. Great. Look at that. Snapped in half. <laughs> 